Hello and welcome. To solve this equation, let us start with a very simple substitution. Let us call this quantity, that is, the square root of x plus 1, u. And let us call this quantity, that is, the square root of x minus 1, v. And of course, you know that the square root of a real number must be positive. So we have that both u and v must be greater than 0. Now, let us rewrite the original equation in terms of u and v. Of course, we already have that this is u and this is v. So let us find this and that in terms of u and v. Now, when we square both sides of this u equation, of course, you know that this is going to take care of this square root. And we have that u squared is equal to x plus 1. When we do the same thing to this v equation, once more, this is going to take care of that. And we have that v squared is equal to x minus 1. Now, let us add these two equations. When we do that, we have that u squared plus v squared is equal to 2x. Of course, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. And when we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we find that x is equal to half times u squared plus v squared. Now, let us look at this quantity. Of course, you know that we can write this as x squared minus 1 squared because 1 squared is equal to 1. But written in this form, you're going to see the difference of two squares. And of course, you know that this is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So that simply means that the square root of this is going to be equal to the square root of that. And from our rule of sorts, you know we can break this square root apart. So this is equal to the square root of x minus 1 multiplied by the square root of x plus 1. And this is u and this is v. So this is simply equal to u times v. So now we have that the original equation is half times u squared plus v squared plus u v divided by u plus v is equal to 1. Now to get rid of this half, let us multiply both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by 2. Of course, you know that when you multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same quantity, you haven't changed that fraction. So when we multiply this by 2, 2 times half is 1. So we have u squared plus v squared plus 2 times this is 2uv divided by 2 times this is 2u plus v. And of course, this is still equal to 1. But now look at this numerator. Of course, you can see that this is the same as u plus v squared. Because when we open this bracket, we have u squared plus 2 times u times v plus v squared. And this is divided by 2u plus v. And this is equal to 1. To get rid of this fraction on the left-hand side, we cross-multiply. When we do that, we have that u plus v squared is equal to 2u plus v. And of course, when we bring this term over to the left-hand side, we have that u plus v squared minus 2u plus v is equal to 0. Now, when you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor, which is u plus v. So we can factorize that out. When we do that, we have u plus v into u plus v squared 
divided by u plus v is going to give us u plus v and minus 2 times u plus v divided by u plus v is going to give us minus 2 and of course this is equal to 0. Now when you look at this equation you know that this simply means that either u plus v is equal to 0 or u plus v minus 2 is equal to 0. But let us remember that both u and v are greater than 0. They are positive numbers. And there is no way that the sum of two positive numbers is going to be equal to 0. So this equation is practically impossible. So we are left with this equation. From here, we have that u plus v is equal to 2. Now, to get rid of one of these, let us assume that u minus v is equal to a constant k. Notice that this is the conjugate of this. To find the value of this constant, let us multiply these two equations. Of course, since this and this are conjugates, you know that this times this is going to give us the difference of two squares. So we have that the left hand side is equal to u squared minus v squared. And this is equal to 2 times k, which of course is 2k. Now from here, we have that u squared is x plus 1. And v squared is x minus 1. And this is equal to 2k. Opening these two brackets, we have x plus 1 minus x minus minus is plus 1. And this is equal to 2k. x minus x is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have that 2 is equal to 2k. Dividing both sides of this equation by 2, we have that k is equal to 1. So we come back to this equation. We have that u minus v is equal to 1. Notice that if we add these two equations, we are very easily going to eliminate v. So when we add this to this, we have u plus u, that is 2u. Of course, v minus v is equal to 0. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, when we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we have that u is equal to 3 over 2. This simply means that we have reduced this equation to x plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2. Now we square both sides. We have that x plus 1 is equal to 9 over 4. And of course, From here, we have that x is equal to 9 over 4 minus 1. But we can write 1 as 4 over 4. 9 minus 4 is 5 over 4. So we have that the value of x that satisfies this equation is 5 over 4. Now, to check our answer, let us substitute this value of x into the original equation. First of all, let us evaluate x squared minus 1, x plus 1, and x minus 1. So we have x squared minus 1. When x is equal to 5 over 4, x squared is 25 over 16. Minus, we can write 1 as 16 over 16. 25 minus 16 is 9 over 16. x plus 1. When x is 5 over 4, this is equal to 5 over 4 plus, we can write 1 as 4 over 4. 5 plus 4 is 9 over 4. And lastly, x minus 1. When x is 5 over 4, this is equal to 5 over 4 minus 1 can be written as 4 over 4. 5 minus 4 is 1 over now, when we substitute, we have 5 over 4 plus the square root of x squared minus 1. 
that is going to be 3 over 4 divided by the square root of x plus 1. This is going to be 3 over 2 plus the square root of x minus 1. This is going to be 1 over 2. Now 5 over 4 plus 3 over 4 is equal to 8 over 4. 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 4 over 2. 8 over 4 is equal to 2. And 4 over 2 is equal to 2. And 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So you can see that when x is equal to 5 over 4, the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.